In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the relationship between wholesale, retail, markup, discount, and taxes. And uh, the first thing we need to really understand is that all of these things are just different forms of change, and uh, or, or I guess even different forms of percent change. And like we looked at when we looked at change, changes can either be increases or they can be decreases. And if you think back to uh, the different types of work we've done in this unit, you'll see that some of these things classify as increases and some of them classify as decreases. So for instance, discount is a decrease. It decreases the price of an item. Tax, on the other hand, is an increase. Right? It increases the cost that you pay as the customer. Uh, markup is another increase. That's what we use when we uh, determine the retail price of an item. Uh, then we have things like tip, which increases the amount that we pay to a restaurant or to a guide or something like that. Uh, we also have interest. Interest increases the amount of money that we have in our bank account or increases the amount of money we owe on like a, a loan of some sort. So let's put all of these different concepts together. Um, I'm going to use a t-shirt as my example here. And so when, uh, when a store buys a t-shirt, what, what they're really doing is they are paying the wholesale price. That's the price that the store pays when they buy a particular item. The store pays that. The store then applies a markup percentage. So they apply a markup percent, which is an increase, even though the arrow is going down, but it's an increase. And that, in turn, determines the retail price. And that's the price that the store wants to sell it for. The store sells for this price. And the retail really should, uh, you know, if the store sells it for the retail, that, that should include all the profit that they need in terms of paying, paying their employees and paying rent and all that. But here's the thing. Sometimes the store isn't actually able to sell it for that. So they need to apply a discount. And that's what we all look for. We want a sale. And so... Once we apply the discount, we actually get, I guess, what I'll just call the sale price. And that's what the customer, or that's what the store actually gets for it, right? So they don't always get the retail price, but they do get the sale price. Now, unfortunately, there is another thing that can affect the price, and that is the tax. So sometimes there is a tax percent and I guess that discount is also a percentage but there is a tax and that in turn determines the final price so a lot of things can actually happen between when the store uh, get, gets the shirt for the uh, wholesale and then when they try to s sell it for something and then they give some sort of sale price and then of course at the end you pay the final price Lots of different types of percentages are applied to change this. And so what we're going to do is we are going to look at an example of putting all of these different things together. So the example here is a skateboard costs $135. So that's the retail price. And I'll just make a note of that, that that's the retail price. That's what the store wants to sell it for. But it's now on sale for 20% off. So we have a discount here, and discounts, remember, are decreases. And you are going to pay an 8% tax, so there's going to be an increase at the end. So the question is, what's the final cost of the skateboard? So we're going to do this in two different steps. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to find the sale price. That factors in the discount. And then we're going to find the final price, which then includes the tax. Now there's a couple different ways to work this out, but uh, I'm actually going to use an equation to do this. And uh, the equation is a little bit faster than the proportion because we're going to do some of the work mentally. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the sale price. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to use an equation that basically says that the sale price equals the original price multiplied by the percent paid. And this is a really important difference here. 
um, that's going to really speed us up. So let's actually kind of make an equation out of this. The sale price is what I'm trying to find, so that's my variable. I know the original price is $135. The percent paid though is not 20%. I mean, I'm going to look at this because I'm saving 20%, but if I'm saving 20%, that really means I'm actually paying 80%. And a way to think of this is 100% is the full price minus the 20% discount. And that means I'm paying 80%. So as a decimal, that's 0 0.8. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my calculator and I'm going to work that out. 135 times 0.8 equals $108. So that's the sale price done really quickly. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the tax. And instead of finding the, the tax amount, I'm actually just going to find the final price. I'm just going to jump to that. So the final price equals the original amount times the percent paid. And in this case here, I'm going to fill this in with, with what I have. There's the variable, and in this case what's different is that the original is not the retail, and, and actually let's make that clear. Over here, the original price was the retail. That was the price that the store was hoping to sell it for. But in this, this case over here, the original price for the tax is actually what the customer pays. You don't pay tax on the sticker price, you pay tax on actually what you paid for the item. So it's a little bit different here, and it's something you have to kind of remember. So the original in this case is 108, and the percent paid is 100%, that's the original, plus the 8% tax. So I'm really paying 108%. Remember, tax is an increase, so the number has to be above 100, and 108 as a decimal is 1.08. So I get my calculator out, 108 times 1.08, that's just a coincidence, that's the same numbers, equals $116.64. So this is how we can use an equation to actually figure out the final price of an item by using a couple of different steps.